Hello everybody, and thanks for joining me in today's video where I'm going to be playing some more Pokemon Violet. Now then, in the last video, we had just managed to gain entry into Ares Starbase. So, let's hop right in. Head on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the calf squad off the map. Alright. We have our full team assimilated. We have Ryzenzan, Mozilla, and Cynthia. Their powers combined, we will absolutely obliterate. That's the wrong way. We will absolutely obliterate. That's the wrong way as well. We will absolutely obliterate. There it is. God damn. All right, their power is combined. We will absolutely obliterate the star base. There we go. Yes. Oh, these poor fools will never know what hit them. A giant ass elephant. And a moth. And a shark. <laughs> Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you've got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. <laughs> Break a leg. You said Operation Starfool. That is incorrect. It's Operation Star, I'm going to destroy you all. Aw, Den's some cute fighting types you got there. It would be a shame if someone were to send a giant elephant to murder them all. And unfortunately for you guys, unlike the Dark Gym, this place doesn't have any Pokemon I like. Well, I mean, there are fighting types that I like, but you don't have any of them. Because I have the two fighting types that I like. Oh, God. It's this thing. Ugh. The Abominable Snow Crab. Monkey. Be gone, monkey. Flamingo. The flamingo is terrible. Apparently those guys are also supposed to be extremely overpowered. Don't know myself, never seen them fight, but they're supposed to be really strong. Also, it has come to my attention, I put the elephant at the front of my team because for some reason I thought this was the poison bait I um I remembered very wrong <laughs> we'll take you on yeah you are taking me on and it's really not ending well for you like not in the slightest oh hi big boy Bye, big boy. Oh, that was it. Huh. Lame. Just like everything Team Star does. I I don't think we can hold him off much longer, boss. Now. There she blows. I think she... I'm still not 100%. Their boss, Eri, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to hostilities after our declaration of war. Because there was another dude earlier who I thought was a guy from, like, Team... No, I thought they were a girl from Team Star. They were not a girl. So, I'm getting confused about all the characters' genders. I mean, there's the one ice gym leader, who looks like a girl, but is actually a guy. And then there was the member of the Elite Four, who fooled me once and then keep, kept me fooled for a while. So, I, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea who is what gender. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are. 
I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. <laughs> I regret doing that immensely. Ooh, that's a pretty Pokeball you have there. Would be a shame if someone were to absolutely destroy his Pokemon. This base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. About that, you don't really have a choice in the matter. Ye what? I'm sorry. Did I just create matter underneath that frog for the pure purpose? Of causing an earthquake. Huh. Huh. Heh. Yep, I am literally creating matter for the pure singular purpose of... Well then. Certainly not what I expected to be doing tonight, but I guess that works. I give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. Yeah, whatever. Get Earthquake. Monkey. Annihilate. Seriously? You still have more? Alright, I'm gonna switch out... You for Mothzilla. Because... I'm gonna want this guy for the final fight. For the big car thing, whatever it's called, because it's a steel type, which means it'll be weak to ground. Plus, also, I don't want to go a fight leaving out Mothy. Go get my Mothula. He's so cute and friendly, and he's gonna bite your face off. You dare? Mothy. Uh-oh. Mothy! I will make you feel the pain of a thousand deaths for that. Now be gone. Okay, she's got two more Pokemon left. And I'll be able to switch out for this next one, luckily. Luca Lucario. Oh no. Lucario is supposed to actually be really good. Um, Chase! But if I remember correctly, Lucario is a special attacker. Which means Chase will be able to soak up the damage like a sponge. Because Lucario's whole thing is like aura. Because, you know, he does the whole Kamehameha! Soak up the damage. I swear. What? What? Bruh. Bruh. You're a freaking bipedal dog. Why do you know a dragon move? Go. Screw you, you stupid bipedal dog. Ryzen. Say goodbye. What? What typing is Lucario, man? I, I refuse to use, so please, lend me your strength. But what typing is Lucario? I know he's fighting, but... Alright, this thing is... Wait, Giga Impact still works? Frick it! But wait, I won't have... I won't have type advantage.
screw it. Gig Impact. What? What? Oh. That's, um... That's bad. Working, so yep, I go down. But then... We bring out Cynthia, cause she'll- do I have- god, every- okay. A certain problem has come to my attention. Everyone on my team is a physical attacker. That's barely even an exaggeration. I'm about twerking again. Damn you and your stupid torquing! Rising! Nine! Nine, nine, nine! Okay, revive you. I'm so screwed. Live, Rex! I have a plan. Okay. We want to full restore Ryzen. Let's see how my plan goes. High horse cow. Wait. Are you ground? I assume I assumed it was fighting. But maybe this thing is a ground type. Ah oh, well, it doesn't matter. Sharply boost the attack. Defense! Wait, let me see. No. I gotta up my de special. I gotta up my defense. Defense. Combat forking. X attack. I will not allow this great injustice to stand. You now face the mighty elephant. Be gone from this mortal plane! Right after I heal. Ooh. You have simply given me another chance to strike you down! Be gone. Don't critical, don't critical, don't critical. 69! I told you it was a sign of... You gotta be kidding me. Well, frick me. I can't do anything. I gotta gamble. All of the odds are stacked against me. This thing is almost definitely going to torque. I have paralysis. I have to hope that this thing goes for a gear shift. And I have to hope that I get through the paralysis. Power of 69! Lead me on my journey! Ah!
this displeases me. This displeases me immensely. Alright, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see me live, be sure to check out my Twitch channel down in the description below. And be sure to leave a comment on what you enjoyed. But anyway, hopefully I'll see you for my next video. Bye-bye.